Welcome back to another episode of Power Slide TV. Uh, today again we're looking at wicked bearings. Uh, as you can see, Matthias likes to be wicked. Uh, what we're going to look, what we're going to focus on today is a little bit um, the ABEC series of bearings. So ABEC, our ABEC series of bearings is kind of the the first step into after into the world of aftermarket bearings. Uh, it's for people that have maybe got their pair of skates and they're just looking at something to make them feel a little bit like new again. Then bearings um, is quite the, quite a nice upgrade. Uh, so you don't need to spend the world to get, to do it, but it's just quite a nice upgrade. So talking specifically about the ABEC bearings, Matthias, what does ABEC mean? Annual Bearing Engineer Committee. So he's been rehearsing that all morning. It's actually written on his hand. But no, seriously, as, as Matthias said, it's kind of like a, a guide for the tolerances, let's say just to put a bit of regulation and uh, an order on it. It's actually the American regulation. Basically in Europe we have a similar system. It's just a little bit upside down. It's like P1 to P5. And so the actually the good ones are like considered P5 are like a ABEC 9 basically standard or so. So it's a little bit reversed, uh, but it's a similar system and it matches uh, on some points with the ABEC system. So yeah, discussing that, so we basically focus on three of these tolerances, let's say. So ABEC 5 is kind of the, the very, very entry level, and then ABEC 7 and ABEC 9. Um, actually, all of the bearings are very, very similar construction in terms of materials. They all focus around, uh, around a chrome steel balls. Um, so it's kind of, you may have seen a little bit before when we described all the different kinds of balls in the bearings. This is kind of your medium level of uh, balls. Yeah, and also the, uh, the outside and the inner ring, basically they're made also of chrome steel. And a good way to test the quality of a bearing is actually you put pressure against the inner and outer ring. So you push the inner ring up and you push the outer ring down. And then when you have tension, you turn it and the smoother it feels, the better is actually the raceway. Uh, so it's smoother, it's better honed. So you can really feel and check the quality by putting the inner ring against the outer ring and feel how nice and finished the bearings are. And the, all the bearings of the ABEX series, they are one-sided cover with a R set with a rubber coated shield. And on the inside, basically, it's a little bit covered by the nylon cage, which is reinforced with fiberglass. And they're all um, lubricated with Koyo grease. I guess that's it, basically. Uh, we've got a little bit of packaging options. So basically with, because uh, we like you may have heard, we have such a vast collection with Wicked. That's actually transferred to all of roller sports. So starting right at, say you're, a, say you're a skateboarder, we start with an eight pack. Or say you only feel you need to upgrade half the bearings on your skates, we also start with an eight pack. And then if you've entered the new tri-skate world and you don't need 16 packs, we offer a 12 pack as well. And then on top, we obviously a 16 pack for quad and people still on four wheel inline skates and things like that. So we're, we've got all your bases covered. Uh, and like I said, a bearing is a great way to upgrade your skates, make them feel like brand new. And remember, always be wicked. Yeah. <laughs>